Dean, it was a very wet and windy uh, affair today. What did you make of it? it lack quality. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't want to disrespect the opposition. Uh, in the end, they had a little bit more quality than us. They scored a fantastic goal. We just lack quality in the top end. And uh, the main positive I can take from today, yeah, France back from suspension for our next game. And Daniel Powell trained today, full training session this morning. They're massive players. We need them on the pitch. It was a fantastic strike by uh, by Mitch Brundle to level the score. You must be pleased by that. Character, yeah, togetherness. Um, the words I speak about all the time, but it's the only way you can have success. Our supporters drove us forward. You could feel a bit of tension, a bit of frustration in the first half. But our players gave their all. We can't. All you can ask of a man is to give their all, and our players gave their all. We kept going, even though we did lack quality in a, a lot of different scenarios. Um, yeah, so look, we showed a lot of character, a lot of togetherness, and I didn't think we deserved to lose. Uh, we were very brave at half time. Um, it's very important if you're raising the bar and you want to have success, when you get your opportunity, any individual, you've got to take it. And we've got players today that were just, you know, well below par. What they're capable of, they need to get consistent. This is mortgage football. If I don't win football games, you know what happens, don't you? Yeah, I'll lose my job. So we'll keep striving to improve. Um, and yeah, it was frustrating at times, uh, but we kept going and uh, we got a deserved point in the end. You, you mentioned it there, it was a, quite a frustrating afternoon at, at, at times. That their goal came from a long ball forward and, and could have been avoidable, do you feel? It was errors. The most, listen, not, I said before the game to the players, there's going to be errors. This is an error pitch today. It's windy, it's swirling, it's wet, it's been raining since 4 a.m. this morning. But the big thing that frustrates me is they play with opposites in the wide areas. Um, both lads, they come inside. We, We've done video, we've done it in training sessions, stop them coming inside, show them the outside. We let him inside and he bends one in the far corner. That frustrates me. Yeah, that, that's just lack of attention to detail from that player. Now, but that player has the capabilities to stay around because we're going one direction. We ain't going back down, we're going to go up. And, uh, you know, we could perform better than that. That's his opportunity, you've got to perform. And, uh, yeah, it's just crazy, really. It's, that frustrates me, it makes me angry, to be totally honest with you. And, uh, you know, if you're going to talk the talk, you've got to walk the walk. You know, I had reviews with every player in the Christmas period, and today's perform. In my opinion, today's form is just not good enough if we're going to be successful, and we will be successful. There was a big save made by by Oxford, uh, j- just before the, the, the half time uh, whistle went, uh, and, and that was a quite, quite an important uh, save. Get given the fact it was quite a cagey affair at the time. Yeah, he didn't have loads to do, Oxford. So. Um, but yeah, great save from him. Uh, key moment in the game. Like I said, we didn't create enough chances ourselves. We just got to look at ourselves and how we improve, we'll keep improving. Um, I'm not here to like single people out. Uh, the great thing about today is that character and togetherness, and we showed it. And uh, we kept going. And uh, I know it's one of Alex Ferguson saying, "Never give in." They scored a lot of late goals, and successful teams do that. So we've got to make sure we improve. So we will debrief the game on Monday. Video. We will um, coach and make things so things are better. But uh, sometimes the players have to look at themselves. You made a double change at half time. What was that down to? We were rubbish first half. Simple as that. You know, say so I had the opportunity today. I said before the game, he trained brilliant this week. That's where he got his opportunity because we judged training. And I said to him at half time, uh, sorry, I said to him before the game, I said, make sure Efron doesn't get back in the team. I say it's the major positive for us today. Our oh, Daniel Powell, they don't go back in the team. We need them in our team. That's what, so the great thing about football, you learn all the time. And uh, them two boys are, are massive players for us. Paulie, I thought was outstanding today for us, our best player by a mile. Mitch does what he does, Mitchie Brundle. He's a slogger, he digs deep, uh, he keeps going. He got his reward today. Goal. We've got another two big uh, games coming up in, in, in the form of Ashford and, and Chesterfield. Uh, how, how important are, are those and um, to, to keep the momentum going? Yeah, look, Ashford, you know, we'll go there, we'll play a strong side. We need to play the east side and that. We haven't got a massive squad at this moment in time. Um, we haven't got like 28 man squad or anything like that um, so yeah so we'll play there's players that need minutes there's been games that have been off it's another opportunity you know when you cross that white line people are always watching you've got to keep improving and getting better and we need to definitely improve on today's performance so we'll concentrate on that one first and then we've got the league leaders next week who are playing Chelsea as we speak right now so fantastic day for them and uh, yeah they're a good side Chesterfield very physical street wise um, aggressive Goal scorers invested really heavily financially, buying players, um, and they're well coached and well managed. So it'll be a tough game. And just finally, what did you make of our supporters today? Who, uh, who enjoyed the, the, the last minute uh, equaliser? Yeah, there's always euphoria around that. Um, what I would have liked to do was get the ball out of the net and got it kicked off again and see if we get a winner. 
you know, I know I felt that way. It was sort of one of them days where there was a lot of like, negativity around the place. It's just oh, a lot of that. When that happens, you need, you need your characters to step up, and Mitchie Brundle did on that on that occasion. So our supporters were brilliant as always. Uh, they stayed positive. They dug with us and they helped us get that goal. So uh, we thank them for the positive support. Thanks for your time. Cheers.